Hello and welcome to the second edition of the G News election special in an effort to make sure you know who you're voting for beyond the first page of your ballot, which by the way is the candidate you're voting for president. We've decided to make this nifty intro to the candidates for state senator, California's United States representative, Malibu's district senator, LA County member of assembly and the Malibu city council. I know it sounds like a lot, but we will get through it together. Two Democratic candidates are running to be California's state senator. They are Kamala Harris and Loretta Sanchez. Kamala Harris is from Oakland, California and serves as the 32nd Attorney General of California. Harris is working towards creating a better system by extending civil rights, reforming criminal justice, creating lasting peace and increasing opportunities to education. Candidate Loretta Sanchez has represented California in the U.S. House of Representatives for the past 19 years. Her district includes Anaheim, Santa Ana, and Garden Grove in Orange County. Representative Sanchez said she is dedicated to protecting America, growing businesses, granting everyone medical care, improving the water supply, and improving local schools. As the 33rd Congressional District, Malibu gets to vote for one representative to take a seat for U.S. in Congress. In the running, we have Ted W. Liu and Kenneth W. Wright. The Democratic candidate is Ted W. Liu, who is the current representative. Liu is a former member of the California State Senate and a major in the United States Air Force Reserves. He has authorized legislation to address climate change issues, prevent animal cruelty, create jobs, and protect victims of corporate fraud. Moving over to our Republican candidate, we have Kenneth W. Wright. Wright is currently a pediatric eye surgeon and has started a foundation for improving children's eye care. Wright's campaign focuses on reducing debt, keeping America safe, caring for veterans, immigration reforms, and rethinking national health care. One district senator will be elected to represent each district in the state Senate. Malibu is in California's 27th district, along with Thousand Oaks, Moore Park, Calabasas, and parts of West Los Angeles. Two candidates are running for California's 27th district senator are Steve Fazio and Henry Stern. Fazio is the Republican candidate. He earned an MBA and a doctorate from Pepperdine, has served as a reserve police officer, and now works as the owner of Fazio Cleaners. Fazio's campaign focuses on public safety, law enforcement, and expanding rehabilitation programs. Moving over to the Democratic candidate, we have Henry Stern. Stern is a graduate of Harvard University and UC Berkeley Law School. Currently, Stern is the senior policy advisor to the 27th District's current Senator Fran Pavley. His campaign highlights cleaner air, water, and renewable energy, stimulating the local economy, creating safe communities, and supporting education. And now on to California's state assembly contests. The current assemblyman for California's 50th district is Democrat Richard Bloom. Bloom is running to continue representing this district, which includes Hollywood, Santa Monica, Malibu, and Beverly Hills for a third term, fostering economic development and job creation, improving public schools, and providing services for seniors and the disabled are among the broad range of priorities Bloom is focusing on in his current position as assemblyman. Republican candidate Matthew Craffey is running against Bloom. Craffey's platforms include pushing for an increased accountability and transparency in public schools, as well as lowering state income taxes on middle-class taxpayers from 9.3% to 5%. According to Ballotpedia.org, each member of the assembly represents approximately 465,674 residents. Lastly, six candidates are competing for three seats in Malibu City Council. First up is Jennifer Blue D. Nicola. She believes in, quote, we the people and in public service to protect public health and the environment. D. Nicola founded America Unites for Kids, a nonprofit organization dedicated to children's right to healthy, safe public schools and currently serves as a nonprofit executive. D. Nicola pledges to champion outstanding education and school safety address the needs of homeless individuals, and create an environmentally sustainable city. Next, we have Rick Mullen. He serves as a fire captain in Malibu and has led efforts to limit development. Mullen said he promises to work for residents' safety, quality of schools, as well as preserving the natural beauty of Malibu. Next up, we have Skyler Peak, a local business owner and Pepperdine alumnus. He is currently on the city council and he is committed to improving schools and water quality as well as preserving open space for future generations. Peak said he will dedicate efforts to protect wildlife and improve traffic flow and safety of Pacific Coast Highway. 
Moving on to Carl Randall. Carl Randall has served on the Malibu Parks and Recreation Commission for six years. He has acted as a AMPS liaison to Webster and has sat on the Santa Monica Unified School District Facilities District Advisory Committee. Randall will work to enact lawful policies to restrict development, lead efforts to purchase property for community use, and improve safety on PCH. And now our fifth candidate, Laureen Sills. Sills is a writer and nonprofit president who serves as a community leader and has worked with different stakeholders in Malibu over the past 30 years. Sills said she lives by the motto, quote, community first. She pledges to maintain fiscal responsibility, protect the environment, and purchase land for parks. And of course, last but not least, we have Jefferson Zuma J. Wagner. Wagner has been on city council in the past. Wagner has shown his commitment to the city by attending city council meetings, and he is the owner of Zuma J's Surf Shop. Wagner will work towards strict code enforcement that promotes respect for staff and city employees. He will also promote retirement of open space to ease traffic congestion and maintain property values. And there you have it, the five contests you need to keep your eyes out for on your ballot. We hope this was a nice intro to the candidates, but if you want more information, check out votesmart.org, votersedge.org, the LA Times, the Malibu Times, and PGM's The Informer. And of course, don't forget to vote this Tuesday, November 8th.